do I look a little tired and sunburned? There'd be a reason for that. <laughs> so the whole wedding venue was outside during the day. It was very hot. And if you're seeing this clip, you've seen the clips from the wedding that I can show you. It was a beautiful venue out in a um, garden at a piece of property in Woodburn, California and um, covered in flowers and it was just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous but i'm tired we ate too much yesterday and yeah anyway we're at the gas station we're gonna get some gas and then get to the airport return the rental car go to the airport all that stuff so i'll see you later at home last night <laughs> and we've been putting laundry away and cleaning since then uh letty came today our housekeeper and friend and she Got the whole house clean top to bottom, just in time for my dad to come by because I've got to and spend the night because I got to take him to the airport in the morning. Um, I made a slip cover for Matilda, so one of you all kindly suggested the name in uh, one of my video comments, and I think it's perfect. I did go ahead and make her a rainbow slip cover, so say hello to Matilda. I did have some issue with my serger because it didn't want to stay threaded. Um, it's probably operator error, but it also could need just a good servicing. I don't know. Anyway, I got it done. Yay. Um, haven't got a whole lot of el else done. Just that and laundry. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go check them. Well, I shouldn't say that. I got video editing done. I got a lot of video editing done. One for patrons and supporters and one for you all. And uh, uh, two for you all, sorry. And uh, so the two for you all are loading right now. They're almost done. And then I'm going to load the one for the patrons and supporters. And I have a download for them and a couple of other things. If you want to become a patron and supporter, there's a link down below. Check it out. All right. I'm going to go check our snail mail while the computer is doing its thing. And I'll be back. But at least back here home in Oregon, it's not 90 plus degrees like it was the whole time we were in California. I'm not mad about that. All right. Let's go see if we can get everything else done that I need to get done before my dad gets here. I'll be back. It is 8.49 a.m. and yes, I'm in the car. He took my dad. We, my, I mean me and you guys, we took my dad to the airport. He's flying down to California to visit my brother and stay for a week. And it has been a crazy uh, uh, 24 hours. Anyway, um, what has happened since I vlogged last? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Maybe it's because it's so early in the morning. So my dad had a dent in his um, red cargo van that he uses and it was gonna cost an enormous amount of money to fix a little teeny tiny dent that he didn't wanna spend, which I can't blame him. So we decorated said dent instead and I will include a picture here. I think we did a pretty good job. Um, said car, auto, they are auto decals and we got them on Amazon. I'll link them down below. There's a bunch of them, uh, different ones. And so anyway, it kind of, I told him, made me want to cover his whole cargo van in like band-aids and stuff. <laughs> um, I made a cover for Matilda, um, uh, my dress form. I think I showed you that. I was having problems with the serger and dad and I, since he was at my house last night, figured that it was the cutting blade because the serger cuts, the, trims the fabric and sews it all at the same time. It was the cutting blade. I couldn't remember the last time I changed it. I, it was probably at least 10 years, maybe more. And so I did have a new one and we replaced it. It's working great. I do need to adjust the tension because the tension is off, but otherwise it's working great. So yay. Um, I do need a little socket wrench for upstairs in the art room because the screws are hard to undo in the serger without it. So that's a thing. I know. Anyway. I need a 5 eighths, I think, is what he said. Um, ay, 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 what else? Got a bunch of chores done, got some bread made. Um, the only sewing I got done, or art I got done, was my daily drawings and then Matilda's new cover. Um, I intended on doing some other stuff, but it just didn't happen. There wasn't enough time. So we're gonna run errands on the way home today, 
and then just do some relaxing in the art room, maybe work on a project or two, or maybe just work on the serger's thread tension so that I can get stuff done without being aggravated and wanting to throw it across the room. Because yeah, all right, I'll be back. Hey you guys, it's a 5.30, Bob should be off work in a little bit. I started my creative day after I got my errands and dad to the, done and dad to the airport by fixing and working on the serger some more um, and getting the tension straightened out. It was, I don't know, completely messed up, but it's fixed now. Um, I probably should take both machines in for service other than the DIY, but we'll see. We are going um, on a little vacation soon, and so maybe I will take them in to get them worked on while I'm not home and can't sew anyway. I think that sounds like a good plan. Um, I wasn't gonna sew today. Yeah, I pulled a, another thrift find out of the upcycling closet and thought I'll work on this. This will be my project this week. Not rushing through projects anymore unless I'm making a whole bunch of tank tops or something that are easy. Let's just say that I'll know it, although it needs to be washed to fray a little bit, I've evidently been watching a lot of T. Myers Handmade. Her, her name is Tracy and um, <sighs> Yeah, hold on. <laughs> I know, right? It's cute. Really a men's shirt. And I do have some vlog footage of me cutting the collar off and slitting up the sides. And then I turned the camera off and I just went crazy. I added some fabric and I added some uh, vintage handkerchiefs and some doilies and I took the pocket off, added a little piece of a uh, napkin to it and put it back on. I put some slits in the side. Um, I left some of the edges out, the seams out because I want it to fray. I puffed up the sleeves. See, added some fabric to it, similar fabric to what's on the front. I think it's cute and I could see me pairing it up with just a simple pair of black leggings. I think it would be cute. If you have busy on the top, you do plain on the bottom. If you've got busy on the bottom, you do plain on the top. That At least I do. So anyway, I'm pretty pleased. I, I didn't expect to get that done today. The front's pretty wild and crazy. Uh, the back, the sleeves are crazy, but the rest of it's kind of plain, but I'm okay with that. So yeah, there she is. What do you think? I'll link Tracy's uh, YouTube channel down below. So, 
I finally got out of the sewing room and we're out for a walk before dinner. And of course, as per usual, talking about nonsense, although I haven't asked him how his day was yet. Meh. Um, he meh. says meh. But our topic of the day is, after I told him I dropped off the dry cleaning today, is how does that work? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, do I have a big dry, a uh, big uh, washing machine with a bunch of chemicals in it and your clothes and it washes and it dries? I don't know. How's it work? If anybody knows, comment below, but I bet you there's a YouTube video for that. Anyway, we're going to go get some steps in. It's a beautiful day. Not too hot, not too cold. And yeah, got an outfit I've made on and I'm good with it. All right, let's get to it. I'll be back Thursday, May something, let's say May 25th. It's just after one o'clock, way past time for me to have lunch. But after counseling, I started working on a sewing project. Uh, you know, last night I had trouble going to bed because I was working on some paintings and drawings. It's just the way my brain rolls. Oh, that's nice. I've got thread stuck to my pants. Anyway, I drafted a raglan sleeve peasant blouse type pattern for myself. I couldn't find what I wanted to purchase or download, so I just made my own. I have one basic, hold on, let me get this thread off of my pants because that's a thing. Um, I have one basic sort of sleeveless, uh, well, I guess not sleeveless anymore, woven top pattern that I can do as a traditional tank top a uh, spaghetti strap tank top, or now a raglan sleeve peasant blouse. Um, it's all intended to do with woven fabrics and not knit fabrics, although I guess you could do it, do it in knits. Anyway, so I'm working on that this morning with some of the sale fabric I got recently at a super discounted bargain basement price. And I only got a yard, and so I'm gonna try to make it work with one yard, and if I can make it work with one yard, and get something all I got means it's super easy to get like a skirt or a dress or something from the thrift store and make more of them if I so choose. So. Anyway, I need to eat lunch now because it's way past time. I had counseling this morning. It's all good. But yeah. All right, I'll be back. So it is, what time is it? 8.07 um, p.m. I got lost in sewing this afternoon and being creative and I'm not mad about it. Um, I did finish the top I was working on. It's a self-drafted pattern of my own. And um, here's a picture of it. It's made out of one yard of cotton uh, fabric and uh, just standard one yard, 44 inches wide fabric. Mm. Can you tell I just had dinner? Mm. Yeah, that's lovely. Anyway, um, and I had a nice conversation with the adopted daughter, Jenny. And um, that was really great. Bob's still at his meeting and I'm gonna pick the whatever that is out of my teeth, probably a seed, and watch something on uh, one of my apps while I do some drawing. Cause if I go back upstairs to sew, I am never gonna get any sleep tonight. So I'll be back. Everybody, it's 9.45 AM, Friday, May, I don't even know what's the date today. Does my fancy thing say? Yeah, but I can't read that. <laughs> May something, hold on. It is, yeah, 9.46 a.m. <sighs> um, anyway, I am gonna go out and run some errands. Obviously we're in the car. I was gonna wear my new pink shirt I just made and then I looked at the temperature that it's gonna be today and thought, yeah, no, that's not happening. Sleeves are not happening today. Um, I, I did make this shirt, um, but yeah. Anyway, I love the shirt. I've worn it a number of times since I made it. I'm also starting to get asked about alterations for people. I don't do that. Um, so yeah, there's that. Fabulous way I started the day this morning. So my Nana, most of her life that I knew her, wore these little tiny gold ball earrings 
And when she passed away, a number of us girls wanted to memorialize her by buying some gold and wearing gold ball earrings. And I wore them every day after she died um, until a couple months ago when I misplaced one of them. And I knew I hadn't lost it. I knew it was around somewhere, but I couldn't find it. This morning, I was digging out some hair ties out of a drawer in the bathroom so I could put one in my hair to do sort of a half up thing. And I ended up emptying the drawer of hair ties out to find the one I wanted and guess what was in the bottom? That's right, the other gold ball earring. I'll put the pair here. Um, I can't believe it. I am so happy, you guys, that I found it. It's like waking up this morning and having her say good morning um, to me in her vo little voice with her Italian accent. And yeah, I miss you, Nona, every single day. Anyway, you guys, I can't talk about it anymore. I'll start crying again. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. <clears throat> Obviously, we're home and I've eaten some lunch and all of that. Um, I did find another pair of black jeans. I need to work on a, a coat project and I didn't have enough black denim. Anyway, I found another pair. I used to always say I never win anything. <laughs> I guess I can't say that anymore. There is a sewing channel here on YouTube. Her name is Stephanie Canada and she um, does a lot of sewing, especially I think with vintage patterns. I'm new to her channel, so I'm not exactly sure. She did have a vintage pattern lot or a pattern lot of stuff she bought, and she had a bunch of stuff she was gonna give away. Um, didn't expect to win, but I did what she said in the video, and Now, some of it is incomplete patterns, used patterns. It might just be one pattern piece. I don't, could be just an empty pattern envelope. Um, it was that kind of box of stuff. I don't know. Let's open it and see. I have no idea. Wow. Stephanie, wow. Oh my goodness. Nine long sleeve, two random times free. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it's just look. Some of it is going to be good to sew with. Some of it might be good collage fodder. Wow. Very vintage. Oop, oop, oop. Couch cover. Has one, two, or, or three, five, and six bad shape. Oh, the pattern's in bad shape. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. She did put notes on some of these. That's sweet. What pattern pieces are missing or in there? <laughs> this one's just a pattern. She says which one it is, but there's no, it's just a couple pieces. Wow, you guys. Some of these are in really bad shape. Like this one is the envelopes literally like falling apart. This is uncut, but I don't know what it goes to. Wow. Only has two and five. Simplicity, 2217, no jacket front. Bodice, torn. Wow. It'd be interesting to go through these and see which ones are sort of complete and could be easily upsized to fit me. 
Maybe make one of them at some point. I mean, you guys, <clears throat> the bag is just endless. Anyway, thank you so much, Stephanie. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with all this, but I do appreciate it so much. I'm gonna empty out the bag and put it in some kind of a bin or a box or something. Hang on. That's a lot of pat vintage patterns. Most of them are not in great shape. I knew that going into it. Um, when I have time, I will go through them, maybe put, it, put out one or two to add to my collection. And the rest will become, I don't know, collage fodder maybe. Maybe I'll pass some of them along to some friends. I'm not exactly sure, but sure is an interesting collection. All right, I'll be Ten, back. One, two, three, four, five, six patterns out of that um, bundle that have all or most of the pieces to add to my collection. And at some point in the future, try. One of them is a very cute uncut. You don't have the envelope with it, but it's a kid's craft apron pattern. I mean, grandson's a long way off from wearing that but can't wait to make it for him. Anyway, I do have a friend who makes um, journals, handmade journals, and I'm really kind of wondering what kind of sewing themed journal she could make out of the rest of that. There's some great images there and some great papers. So, yep, might have to pay it forward. All right. I'm gonna sit and relax for a bit. I'll be back. Do I look like a hot, sweaty mess? Might be a reason for that. I started on the black denim biker jacket. Now, I know traditionally the biker jacket would have a zipper closing here and probably has another zipper on the inside. I am using pieces and parts from the jeans and I know it's black and you can't really see very well, but I've got the pockets from the, I have two, this is from two pair of jeans. So I've got the, pockets from the front of one pair. I've got the two. I have actually have all four in the back pockets on the vet, on the jacket. It's not gonna be a vest. Um, I'm kind of thinking about putting four buttons. We'll see. I did do lining on, it's not fully lined, but the front placket and the collar are lined. And of course I quilted some bright color rainbow cottons together, because why not? Um, on the back of the, ve the vest, the jacket, I put one of the waistbands with the belt loops. Um, I haven't attached the collar yet, it's just pinned on, but it's looking pretty good. I think before I attach the collar, I wanna figure out what I'm doing here. Um, I don't have separating scissor scissors. Yeah separating zippers that are the right size, the right color. I literally have one. I could make separating zippers because I do have a zipper tape in the hardware. I could also utilize, because they were 501, Levi 501's jeans. I do have a button placket and buttonholes. I could utilize those maybe. I haven't decided yet, I don't know. <laughs> So I'm going to live with it for a couple of days, ask my husband his opinion, and get that done and the collar before I put the sleeves on. I do have the sleeves here cut out. I do have some more of the quilted pieces. It might be nice to do a little bit of a cuff on the inside of the sleeve so I can roll the sleeves up. Um, I do have kind of short arms. The sleeves are a little long, but I'm thinking about leaving them that way and doing some of this on the inside for the cuff. That actually might be really cute. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I think I'm done for the day and I need to just sit on this for a bit and decide where it's going. But what do you think? All right, I'm gonna sit and have some water. I'll be I back. I really am done sewing for the day, but I realized that I wanted to put that on the back of the coat. 
So I made that up. It's just pinned down now. I'm not going to sew it on, but I am going to put that on the back of the coat. Um, I still need to figure out what I'm going to do about zippers or buttons or... I have no idea. I really need to go downstairs now or I'll just keep working on this. All right, I'll be back. Why do I have this feeling I'm going to end up just putting my hair up when it dries? It's just like... Anyway, good morning. Um, it is... Saturday, May 27th, 10, 26 a.m. Hey, you guys, Bob got a good portion of the pond out and I figured out the closures and things on this jacket before I attached the collar and the sleeves, which I still need to do. So we took parts of the jeans that we had there. there. So lots of buttons. So I took the button placket from one and put the button loops holes on one side and the buttons here so you can attach this to here then I got a small six inch separating zipper glued it or glued it sewed it on this side and then over here on the seam and if I feel I need it I've got the last button from that button placket that works really well I also sold on the two more of the pockets and we've got our collage piece work, piece sign thing on the back. I'm gonna leave the edges raw. There's a lot of raw, gonna be a lot of raw edges on this. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And I like, I like the way that's turning out. I don't know about you. I'm gonna stop now because I, this is not a project I wanna rush on, like the vest. This is not a project I wanna rush. But yeah, if I did put a, a waistband or finish on the end I'd have to get another pair of pants because I think I'd want to just use the waistband off a pair of pants and of the two pair of pants I had I've used all the waistbands so so there's that all right that's it for the minute I'm going to clean up my mess I'll yes. be back that the pattern I'm using I'll try to find it and link it below it is written in French and as far as I can find there is no directions I don't, there's a couple pieces. <laughs> I don't understand what they're for. So I'm making it work with how I think it should be put together. Is that the right way? I have no idea. Absolutely. In fact, there's one piece that might be for the armpit. And if the sleeves don't fit without it, then I will have to... Um, Cut a couple of these out of scraps. It's but it says bottom sleeve bellows. I don't know. It doesn't look like I need them, but I'm gonna pin things together and see if how they fit in this armhole. Um, but I'm not anticipating needing that. There's also one that was called zip up, which might have been for the inside flap, like in here. I, I yeah, I don't know. But anyway, I'm making it work. And I'm piecemealing it together and doing it boho hippie style um, because that's what I like. I like doing that. It's like a, a fabric collage that you can wear. And I love that. Um, and once you wash it and it starts fraying a little bit, it's going to be so cool. Anyway, all right. That's it, I think. I'll be back. an interesting way to end the week by knowing you put something away in a safe place and you can't find it. And like, yeah, anyway, the scissors I'm looking for are actually downstairs in my daily drawing bag and I just didn't see them. Um, always a possibility. I, I'm just not sure. Uh, they're not up here. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> anyway. It's been a fun week. We got a lot of work done on this jacket. It's definitely a challenge. Um, I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do about the hem. If I wanna put something on the hem, then I need another pair of jeans. Um, I'm either gonna let it unravel and let it fray, or let it fray plus add a waistband to the bottom. So leave the raw edge and sew it on the, sew the waistband on the inside. That, that might be a thing. I don't know yet, but 
For right now, I'm gonna get the sleeves and collar on it, but that's next week's project. <laughs> anyway, it's been a good week. A um, little bit busy, but that's okay. Uh, next week will be a little quieter, I think, although I have to go on Wednesday and pick my father up at the airport in the middle of rush hour. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway. All right. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, please do leave them down below. If you're interesting, interested in supporting the free content here on YouTube and my artistic and crafty sewing adventures, I'd love to see you do that and communicate with you personally one-on-one -on -one by becoming a patron or supporter. We have not only the patron page over on Patreon, but we have our own private YouTube channel. We have a private Facebook chat where you can get a hold of me almost 24 seven. I mean, I do sleep, so. Um, I'd love to have contact with you and I'd love to get the support. I really do appreciate it. They don't call us starving artists for nothing. And uh, yeah, <sighs> anyway. Questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Did I say that yet? I don't even know. It's just one of those days. Um, and that's it for right now. It's been a great week. I've had a lot of fun working on projects like the vest and this coat. And I'm not sure what the favorite, my favorite part is. The rainbow patchwork collar or the rainbow patchwork peace sign. I have no idea. They're both pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for now. Have a great week and weekend, everybody. It is Memorial Day weekend. Have a great one. Spend time with your family. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.